Hey guys, my name is Raymond, and um, you're probably watching this video because you want something similar um, to what's on the screen right now. Um, like these blinking, randomized color lights um, scattered around. And I actually made the material for it, which is um, not the best thing, because I'm not a really smart guy. But I made it that it works. So... It will give you a really good point on how to approach it. And then I'm pretty sure you will have the ability to customize it even more and uh, and make it to your liking. How my uh, material works is that it takes the object, it asks the, uh, the, accord the uh, object position of it. So it says, all right, you're here in the world space and that assigns a random color to it. Um, then we run it through a sign node, which will literally create the opposite uh, color of that. And then over time, we, we just blend uh, these two colors. So it's either one or either the other color and it's going to blink. So now if I move this one, which is like uh, this green and uh, this green and purple uh, color, then I will actually have like, like uh, this other green uh, and, and uh, and orange and stuff like this. Uh, so, because of this, you will have to have the object you assign the material to uh, static. Because obviously, either way, if it's moving, it's gonna change color constantly, which you don't really want to do. But if you have these signs like I do, and you want a quick way to texture them, then it's a it's a pretty good point, I think. It's a pretty good starting point and you can customize it later. If we have a, an object position, we run it through a sign node. So it, you know, it customizes it a little bit. It gives a little bit of variation. And then we multiply it with the other variation uh, of the object position, which is added to our time and the run through a sign. So whenever you get this uh, object position and you plug it in, you will see that you will have three different colors. Um, because you have three axes. Um, so now... Oh, it's really bright. I'm sorry. So now everything looks green. And if I turn around, everything looks blue. If I turn around again, everything looks purple. And I don't know how, because again, I don't really know math. But if you run it through a sign node, uh, then everything will have like a random color. Not a random color, but it looks like it has a random color. If you need only like just one color that is randomized, then pretty much you can go with this. It's uh, The intensity is pretty low, but you can just crank it up with a multiply and a number. As you see, every single one of the signs have a random color right now. Um, but it's just boring and it's not that randomized. So let's make it more randomized with, uh, with, a, with another variation of the time node. And... Uh, what this does actually is that it has uh, over time um, the object coordinate to blink and we mesh those together uh, or we sorry we multiply those together and then we get uh, we get this like this it's, it's just going to blink it's two two variations that are blinking over time uh, how you can control the time, you might ask, is through this sign node. Or actually, I'm not sure if you can control it from this. Uh, it it kind of looks like you can. I haven't tried it out. I just run through a sign, run it through a sign node, and uh, here the lower the number, the, the faster the blinks uh, become. So if I have a really low number, like a point one, it's going to have like a, like a really rap rapid blinking. If I have a number that is like, for example, 15, it's going to stay the same color for a very long time. Um, so I just it to your liking. And uh, I, I like it on free. It's uh, kind of subtle. It's kind of cool. Um, and again, it's it's really, the intensity is really low. So we just crank it up with a multiply and the number. Um, and that's it. That, that's the whole node. Uh, not the note, sorry, the material. So it's pretty basic, it's pretty simple. 
Again, you can't move these objects. Uh, it has to be static because if you move them, it's going to assign a, a different number to it. So it's going to have a different material. Um, so if, 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 if you move it, um, whoops, uh, sorry. So if you move it, then it's going to change material every time it hits that point where it changes. Um, but I think it looks good. It totally sells the randomness. Uh, and it's just one material that you assign to every single one of the signs instead of creating a bunch of materials and ha and and uh, uh, and uh, having a blueprint that you know cycles through them and assigns randomly. I'm not really sure why people don't really make tutorials on this or why I couldn't find any. But here it is right now. And if you have something to tell me in the comment section about this, like it's it's wrong because or it's right because. Uh, then please do it, feel free to do it, and I want you to do it because I don't really understand why it's not um, the way people approach it, because this is how I would approach it. So it's probably something wrong with it that I don't know yet. So <laughs> feel free to comment it if, if, it, <laughs> if, you, if you know the reason. So this was it, a pretty quick uh, video, so you can just copy these nodes, uh, make this material, assign it, and you're good to go as long as it's a static object. So thanks for watching. And also, I wanted to thank something. I uploaded two videos about a month ago, uh, and both of them passed the 10k mark. So I'm pretty fucking happy with them. It feels amazing, the, uh, the comments I got. They are really kind. I love it. I got a lot of comments that, that uh, helped me to improve um, and, and pointed out things that I should um, you know, work on, which is really nice. I love it. I freaking love it and I wanted to thank you guys because it's overwhelming. So thank you again and until until the next one. Bye.